Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new and in today's video I will be giving you guys some things that I learned about hamsters versus mice with pets that I want to share with you in case you were debating on whether to get hamsters or mice. So starting with hamsters, there's a few different species. Syrians, the largest hamster species, can get anywhere from 5 to 7 inches as the dwarf hamsters can get anywhere from 2 to 3 inches and the Chinese hamsters can be anywhere from 3 to 5 inches. Now on to odor. Hamsters really don't smell that much. It's always just like their waist. And even that does not even have that strong of an odor unless you really, really, really let it build up. And anyway, the bigger the cage, the better odor control you're going to have. So just remember that. As far as coat patterns go, Hamsters have a lot of like genetic variety when it comes to coat patterns. So they can be short or long haired, satin, rex, banded, dominant spot, tortoise shell, black, mink, cinnamon, gray, chocolate, black eyed cream. The list really just goes on and on. So for hamsters, cage minimum used to be 360 square inches, but now the size actually increased to 450 square inches. Hamsters are nocturnal and crepuscular mammals, meaning that they like to be out at night. So, well, actually, in addition, they can be tamed and become very attached and loving to their owners. As far as grouping and cage mates is concerned, you never want to house two Syrians together as they are solitary animals. However, dwarfs can get along, although they may fight, so you always want to have a spare cage just in case a fight does break out. So one of the saddest things about hamsters is that they generally live one and a half to three years old, although some do live longer. As far as cost is concerned, hamsters are not really expensive pets. They're actually pretty low cost. It's more of just like the initial setup that is more expensive than the later on keep. So now moving on to mice, mice get generally 5 to 7 inches from head to the tip of the tail when fully grown. As much as I hate to say this, mice do have a really really strong odor and even if you just cleaned the cage like a week ago, they will start to smell again which is just one of the cons about keeping pet mice. Okay, so moving on to enclosure size, it's recommended, or like I guess the general standard, that three female mice can live in one 10 gallon tank happily, but in my opinion that is way too small, so I recommend at least a 20 gallon for two females or one male. Okay, so like hamsters, mice are nocturnal, meaning that they are active at night. And female mice, because they should be housed with other female mice, would rather interact with their fellow cage mates, as male mice would rather appreciate and benefit from having their owner take them out and interact with them. As I briefly touched on in the last part of the video, female mice should be living in groups of two or three, definitely not alone. Whereas male mice are solitary and will fight if put with another male, so they should just be housed alone. So generally even shorter than hamsters, mice live for about one to two years. Although I actually know some mice in real life that are almost three and a half years old, so I guess it just depends on how you care for them. And just as with hamsters, mice are not expensive pets. It's just the initial setup like buying the cage, the wheel, the food that cost the most money. I really hope this video helped you guys decide if you would rather have a pet mouse or hamster. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below or any other video suggestions. Yeah!